The headlines continue. Foul play. A legal battle is brewing between the New York Mets and two men who work behind the scenes at the team City Field. That's sure to go into extra innings. Chris Granozio and an unidentified male colleague were fired after they were overheard doing what they call a private comedy act that included off-color comments about women. Now, in a Daily Mail TV exclusive, Granozio is calling foul and vowing to fight to get his job back. I'm all for Me Too, but I think this is Me Too Far. Chris Granozio, who worked for two decades as an assistant director and scoreboard operator for the Mets, claims he's been unfairly terminated for an incident completely blown out of proportion. A colleague and I went into a secured scoreboard control room. We thought we were alone, and um, he commenced to do a three-minute comedy riff that was vulgar in nature, but it was content that was of a PG-13 um, level. My colleague was doing the riff and I was guilty of apparently laughing and encouraging him. According to Granozio, a woman in an adjacent booth overheard the men who reportedly used the P word, recorded them, then turned the recording over to human resources. The two men were then fired even though they thought they were behind closed doors. All I'm asking for is a little perspective here because is, does two and a half minutes of you know, admittedly stupid behavior um, outdo 20 plus years of loyal service? It, it's a gross uh, overreach. We thought we were alone. It was not intended to harm anyone. You know, I just think the punishment does not suit the crime here. The firings, though harsh, appear to be in line with the Mets' zero tolerance policy towards indecency in the workplace, as outlined in the employee handbook. I've looked at that handbook, my lawyers looked at that handbook, there's nothing that we violated, either one of us, so uh, I think it's a misapplication of whatever the, their rules or laws were. I was not given any avenue for appeal. I did not want to make this a public thing, I wanted to settle it behind the scenes, but they've left me no option, um, and I'm not going to take this lying down because it's an injustice. Granozio is lodging an official complaint against the New York Mets with the New York City Human Rights Commission in an attempt to get his job back. We reached out to the Mets organization for comment, and they said in part, we are committed to maintaining a work environment that is free of discrimination and harassment, and our actions with respect to the employees in question were consistent with that objective.